Hey, welcome back to Collectible Motor Car. Today I've got a really special car for you. 1980 Chevrolet Corvette, and this thing is bad to the bone. This thing's got a built 383 stroker with an EFI system on it. It's red exterior with red interior. Overall, just a really, really nice car. We'll start up front here. The bumper and everything on this car is really good condition. I don't see any rock chips, cracks, or anything like that. You've got the flip up headlights and they operate as they should. As we work down the side of the car here, I wanna show you the tires. You've got BF Goodwrench here. Tires, they're in really good condition. You've got plenty of tread life. As we work our way down the side of the car, I just wanna mention how good the paint and body work is on this car. It looks really good. It's a two stage paint job. Uh, it was done when the car was restored. It was a frame up restoration. You've got some T-tops here, which is really cool. There's nothing like pulling the T-tops out, throwing them in the back and letting that hair, or letting that air hit your hair. Uh, overall, just a really nice car. They even uh, put brand new weather stripping here on the back of the glass. Uh, just looks really clean. Overall, the car is in really good condition. We also have a ton of paperwork on this car. Go ahead and walk over here and show Justin. Here's a little write up where Crest Chevrolet did the right or did the uh, restoration on it. Gives you a little information there on the engine. It's basically, you know, got uh, board 30 over. It's got LT1 performance pistons in it, aluminum heads. Uh, aluminum intake overall just a really nice car 373 gears you got some receipts in here a lot of receipts actually someone has spent a lot a lot of money on this car uh, but as i work way, my way back here you do have some chevrolet paperwork here it looks like maybe some warranty stuff uh, owner's manual overall just a lot of cool paperwork it gives it a lot of pedigree but with that being said guys let's go ahead and check out this interior and see what it's got to offer All right, guys, we're now in the interior of the 1980 Corvette. Overall, super beautiful, super clean interior. There's just something about a red on red Corvette that just gets me going. Um, as we look at the door panels here, all in really good condition. Everything's nice and tight. You know, it's not loose. Um, all your trim and your door handles and your mirror adjuster, all those are in good condition. The trim's all in good condition. Overall, just a really, really nice car. The carpet looks nice and good. I don't see any stains or anything that looks worn down or anything like that. Uh, the Corvette does come with a tilt column and telescoping steering wheel. So you can get that steering wheel nice and close to you, or you can bend it down or up, get it just right for those driving conditions that you want. Um, the seats are overall in really good conditions. I'm not seeing any tears or wear marks. Overall, this car, guys, is very, very beautiful. Somebody has definitely put some money in this car to make it nice. You do have a four-speed manual M21 transmission. Um, all the gauges work on this car. You do have your Fitech EFI screen there that gives you all the parameters of the motor, like your fuel, like your air to fuel, your timing, um, anything really that you'd want, your coolant temp, all that is right there on that screen. Overall, just a really, really beautiful car. The headliner, all your plastics and everything for your T-tops are in excellent condition. Guys, I'm telling you, I am blown away at how nice this car is. This would be a very nice car for someone that's wanting to get into the classic car world. It's not gonna break the bank like a C2 or, or a C1 Corvette. But overall, guys, this is a very nice car that you can take out and drive and go to car shows, or you can add it to your collection. Um, but overall, just a super nice car that's in really, really good condition. All right, guys, we're under the hood of the 1980 Chevrolet Corvette. And let me tell you, this is one beautiful car. First, before we get to the engine, I want Justin just to pan on this beautiful hood here underneath. They've painted it a gloss black. Absolutely looks beautiful. Um, definitely took an extra step there to make it look nice like that. Let's get to this 383 Stroker. I mean, this thing is built. This thing is super nice. It's putting out some good horsepower. You've got uh, LT1 pistons in it. You've got aluminum uh, GM Performance heads. You've got the Fitech EFI system, MSD ignition. You got Hedman long tube headers on it. You got some nice billet valve covers, ice cold AC. Overall, this car is super, super nice. You do have power disc brakes. And on the Corvettes, as many of you may know, you do get four wheel disc brakes on this car. So it's a very good performer. Uh, overall, just a really, really nice car. And I will say I have driven this car. This thing does perform. The engine is top notch, man. It's got some good power.
All right, guys, we're in the 1980 Chevrolet Corvette. And let me tell you, this thing is even nicer in the inside than it is on the outside. We do have uh, power windows here. Just want to show you that they do operate. Those are up. Um, wanted to go back over here. One thing that I forgot to mention on the interior is it does have an upgraded retro sound style radio. I don't know if it's a retro sound brand. Looks very familiar to the ones we put in ours at a retro sound. So I'm going to assume what that's what it is. You have your AC controls here as well. Um, all of it functions. AC blows cold. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get going on this. Go for a little drive here. This thing really drives good. This 383 is definitely way more horsepower than the factory 350. Um, definitely surprised me when I drove it. We'll go ahead and get up here. But overall, the steering's nice and tight, which that's what you expect from a Corvette. I mean, you know, a sports car like this. Um, it handles really well. The suspension is nice and it's firm, but not too firm to where it's beating you up when you hit bumps. But overall, for a performance sports car, it's got good, good suspension on it. Uh, the brakes feel nice and good. They're not really hard to press. You know, they feel like a modern car brakes. Benefit to the power brakes. Let me wait for traffic to clear here, and we'll go ahead and get out here. God, I love the sound of that V8. Amazing. This car just drives so good. You can definitely tell this car's got some good power to it. Every gear just has more to give. Um, I definitely love it. I'm noticing all the gauges are working. The RPMs are working. I've got proper speed running about 55 miles an hour here on uh, Highway 41. You do have the Holly Fitech system here that's showing RPMs, fuel flow, coolant, and battery voltage. Really cool thing about those. It just gives you some extra parameters on the motor and they're easier to read than your analog gauges down here but all of the gauges down there seem to work we got really good oil pressure at 45 pounds good voltage got a full tank of gas coolant's good here showing somewhere around 160 degrees which is ideal just an amazing car and i'm a pretty tall guy i'm like 6'1 and i fit in this car pretty well um i got plenty of leg room here but there's just something about a c3 corvette man i just really love these cars and i feel like they're way underrated um, I definitely think they're a bargain for the performance that you get, especially with this car. I mean, for the money, you just can't beat it. Just a really, really nice car. And this car is geared good enough to where you can easily cruise the, on the interstate at 65 miles an hour and still stay at a decent RPM where you're not running real high RPM. I was running about 65 there at about 2,400 RPM. So really good gear ratios there in the rear end i believe it's 373 gears uh but like i said not too high to where you know you're going to be you know turning super high rpms on the interstate clutch feels very good on this car we'll show you about what it's got just a little bit here and that's just me kind of granny shifting this is not my car so i don't want to get on it too much here um, but overall, just a really, really, really nice car. Probably a good thing I didn't get on it because uh, we're passing some Cobb police here. So that could have possibly been a potential ticket. But, you know, on the cars that we don't own, we don't drive them like we typically do the cars that we own. Um, but I will say that I can definitely tell that this car is a great performer and it's got great power. Um, but with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and head back to the garage and uh, put this thing up on the lift. 1980 Chevrolet Corvette. This this thing overall is pretty clean under here. Chain member control arms, ball joints, everything looks to be in pretty good condition. Um, we move our way back here. You've got the Chevy orange oil pan here. Uh, they also painted the bell housing in orange as well. You do have an N21 four-speed transmission. Also wanted to mention uh, we've got the long tube headers that come down here and connect to the true dual exhaust that runs all the way to the back. Overall, this car is in really good condition. This is a frame-on car. So uh, the frame looks to be in pretty good condition other than just a minor surface rust. But all your floor pans and everything are solid and look good. We work our way back here to the back. You do have the independent rear suspension here that Corvette is famous for and the famous leaf spring design. Uh, everything back here looks as it should be. All the bushings and everything look to be in pretty good condition. Um, overall, this car is a really nice car. It's a good driver car. Uh, definitely has some good horsepower as well. But if you're interested in this car, Give us a call at 770-738-7111.
We can help you with financing, shipping, everything you need to get this car to your driveway. It's a complete hassle-free experience. If you're interested in this, uh, go ahead and give us a call. You can, you can call me, Chris, or my partner, Justin. And also want to mention too, guys, if you like these videos, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The thumbs up kind of helps us get our videos out there. And then subscribing to the channel keeps you updated on all the new inventory that's coming in. So with that being said, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.